probably heard about the Polish codebreakers way back in the 1970s when the first news about Enigma uh, came to the attention of the British public. But there was so little information about it then, and it was probably all wrong. I mean, there were stories about the Poles having stolen Enigma machines, and, um, uh, and, and it was really, the story was very foggy and unclear. Over the years, when I found out a bit more about the Polish Cobrex, and I did not know a great deal, um, I thought it was very interesting how the uh, Polish Codebreakers had managed to succeed on the Enigma problem years before the people at Bletchley Park, and in particular Alan Turing at Bletchley Park, had ever worked on the problem. And I wanted to see how those two pieces fitted together. Uh, and of course I've learned that everything that was done at Bletchley Park was founded on a base that was created by uh, the codebreakers working in Warsaw before the war. So that was an amazing, amazing discovery. I think what I've learned in doing my research is that it was a cooperative effort between three countries. It was not just the Polish codebreakers. What they did was an incredible achievement. And it was not just the British at Bletchley Park. Those two groups of people only came to work together because the French secret military intelligence had brought them together and had created a climate in which they could share information with each other. So what I've learned about today is that it's much more powerful when countries trust each other and work together for uh, a common, in this case, an intelligence objective. And I think that that is not something that goes out of date.